We've been telling you to check your supplies because nothing's worse than losing power in the middle of the storm and not being prepared. Absolutely. Now is the time to have a plan, and we're checking with the experts about best practices. Joining us now is Jacob Puckett. He's from Blue Ridge Energy. Good morning, Jacob. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So we just had Duke Energy on, so we just want to take a moment to explain. So your uh, jurisdiction is a little different, and the conditions that you're going to be dealing with tomorrow are a little bit different than uh, what Duke is, too. Yeah, we primarily serve Caldwell, Watauga, Ash, Allegheny counties. We also serve part of Wilkes, uh, Alexander, and Avery counties. And really, we're expecting the whole kitchen sink. I mean, frankly, from wet snow, uh, especially in the mountains, to ice down the mountain and high winds. So we could really see all of it. When we talk about those mountain areas, what's the biggest concern? I know they're looking at more snow than ice, but how do you guys prepare for that in the mountains? Well, really with snow and ice, we kind of prepare the same because, you know, at the end of the day, heavy, wet snow can have very similar impacts to ice. We're keeping an eye on those trees that are outside the right-of-way area that could uh, fall into those lines if they're weighed down with heavy, wet snow, especially if they're pushed over by these forecasted winds over the next 24 hours. But really, the preparation's all year long. We keep a strong right-of-way program, and we um, make sure trees are trimmed and taken care of all year round and out, you know, clean of the right-of-way areas. And on top of that, preparation for the last couple of days, making sure tree trimming equipment's ready, uh, making sure trucks are ready, fueled up and stocked and ready to go. And our guys are really prepared to go out and respond to those outages as soon as they start happening. Are there anything, is there anything that customers can do, Jacob, to uh, maybe uh, lessen the potential of an outage or help crews restore power? Really just making sure you report an outage as soon as you have it at one of the three ways you can report it. Of course, you can call 1-800-448-2383. You can also report it on our mobile app or use outage texting. You'll text OUT to 70216. Um, but really, those are the best ways, just making sure you're reporting that outage as soon as it occurs. Um, it will get out there as soon as possible to respond to it. it you know. It's going to be a dynamic storm with a lot of different impacts, and we just want everybody to stay safe and keep in mind, if you're using a generator, if you do experience an outage, keep that outside in a well-ventilated area. Don't bring that um, anywhere into an enclosed space, and don't try to hardwire that into you know your house electrical system uh, by yourself. That needs to be done by a professional. So obviously keep those tips in mind and just hunker down for the storm. Jacob, I want to ask you, for people, once the power goes out, everybody goes into panic mode usually. And then the next question is, when am I going to get my power back? <laughs> is there any way that people can check? Is there a website they can go to to say, hey, is there a time frame here? Or is it kind of just saying, we just need you to be patient? Well, if, if you're dealing with major outages during a storm, which we hope we're not, you know, it's always hard to nail down an exact time. But if people want to follow along with the current outages, they could go on our website. We have an outage map there. Uh, you can find it if you go to the websites in the outage info section. You'll see that at the top of the page. They can follow along and see really what's impacting our entire area. Uh, but really, we're prepared and ready to go, and, and our team is ready at the first outage to get out there and respond to this storm. Uh, we've been preparing for days, and we're always in a heightened state of preparedness really for any storm throughout the year because we are in the industry, you know, where storms impact us heavily because of what we do. So. Uh, we're always ready to go and, and ready to roll out, so we're prepared. 